Welcome, Eurovision fans. We're going to be talking about semifinal one today, and I'm going to give you my personal top 10 qualifiers, countries that I would pick if my voice was the only one that mattered and I could pick my 10 to advance the finals. This is completely subjective and my opinion. I will give out my predictions to qualify, my uh, predictions for the contest right after this, and I will pick the 10 songs that I think will qualify. This specific video is the top 10 songs that I want to qualify. So if you have a problem with other people's opinions, you might not want to watch this video unless you want to cry or be hurt because I'm probably not going to pick the same 10 as you are. But if you can handle that and you have emotional maturity, then please share your top 10 and your 10 to uh, qualify in the comment section below. And you're more than welcome to stay and watch my picks for my top 10. So let's go and look at, first of all, the songs here. So we have in semifinal one, Cyprus, Montenegro, Finland, Poland, Slovenia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Belarus, Serbia, Belgium, Georgia, Australia, Iceland, Estonia, Portugal, Greece, and San Marino. That's the running order. So what I'll do is I'll tell you the top 10 that I want to advance, and then I'll go through and I'll pick the ones that aren't in my top 10. I'll tell you whether I want to see them or not in the finals, just to kind of give you a base where I'm at, because there are more than 10 songs here that I would love to see in the finals. I just only have space for 10 of them as only 10 qualify. So here is my opinion for my top 10 from semifinal one. First off, we have Greece. Katerine Duska, Better Love. Is this any surprise? And seeing that staging even advanced my love of the song. And Katerine, she's such a professional, amazing voice. And Better Love is a very good and strong song. I expect to see this in the finals, and I expect Greece to actually potentially win semifinal one. I think it definitely has a shot for that. The sky's the limit on this song. It's definitely a contender, and I love listening to this every time it's on. Next, my number two. Oh, these aren't ranked in. By the way, I need to point that out. I'm not ranking them numerically. These are randomized, so I didn't want to spoil my top 42. So, also, Hungry. I love Azenapam. I love this song. So good. It sounds folky. It sounds rich and... I actually really like the staging. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of it, but I think it looks beautiful. The family tree idea. There's also some potential. I've seen people making comments of uh, Hungarian folklore and stuff like that that tie into this. It really is a heartwarming song. And besides Israel and Netherlands and uh you know, even Australia the other day, I mean, it's one of the only songs that makes me tear up and cry. I, I really love this so much, and uh, it's nice to see Yossi back in with another quality song. I hope this qualifies. A uh, little worried about it, I guess I would say, if I'm being completely honest, but, you know, personally, this is in my top ten, and I love this song so much. Next, we have Slovenia, Sebi. Sebi was such a Breath of Fresh Air. It's just a song you can sit down and listen to, and uh, I can use it for meditation purposes. I could even use it if I'm at the gym and I'm on a bike or something, you know, just to keep my mind in that space. And it, it's a song that makes you visualize. It's a song that makes you dream and uh, just brings complete joy. The atmosphere and the staging is beautiful, and uh, I'm, I'm super happy with this entry. I love Zala's voice. It's fantastic. Jashbar has great musical talents. They're just a phenomenal duo. They've got that little oddity, you know, they're a little, little, little strange, you know, but it's, you know, a good way. Uh, I love that pairing. They seem like true soulmates and their whole story is really very nice. So I am a big fan of Slovenia this year. Next, the man, the myth, the legend, Sir Hot have to put him on this list. You know, I want him to qualify. Yes, I'm disappointed in the staging. I'm not a fan of the staging they decided to use. Hopefully there'll be tweaks and changes they can make. Uh, but I, I like the song a lot. It makes me so happy. It's one of those feel-good songs of the year. So personally, I just, I think Sir Hot's great. He's fantastic. And uh, 
I hope the song does well. They put it 17th for a reason, so hopefully it can qualify, but I'm starting to have my doubts a little bit, and I definitely worry about it. It's fallen off a little bit for some, so yeah, but it's still a quality song, and I like it, so yeah, San Marino is on my list to, to qualify. Next up, we have Portugal. Of course, Coden Oshiric is going to make this with Telemovish. Love the song. I've loved it since the beginning. I was really kind of off put by it at the moment, not like thinking it was bad, but I just didn't know what I was listening to. And then as I heard it over and over again, I'm like, there's so many cool music elements here. This is so different, so unique, and it's got so many pleasant sounds and everything, plus the whole aspect of you know, what the song's about, the meaning behind it. It's emotional. It's beautiful. It's a lovely song. It looks like the staging is going to be very interesting. And uh, we know that they're going to tweak things. They're not going to be exactly what we saw in first rehearsal. So don't freak out about Portugal. I know a lot of people have, uh, but don't freak out about any of these stages yet. Nothing is set in stone. So, uh, I thought it was beautiful, the red and the green contrast, but they might not even go with that in the end. So uh, we're going to have to wait and see. But I know this is a quality song. And uh, again, Portugal delivers on the Eurovision stage. There's really been a fire lit under Portugal after Salvador Sobral's win in 2017. And it's been magnificent to watch. Next, Georgia. Oh, Georgia, you impressed a lot of people with your staging. Uh, I've been a fan of the song since the beginning, and you saw my first reaction that I was rocking out to the song. I love his gravelly, deep voice. Varada, varada. I just, I love that so much. And live, he is one of the best live performers of the competition. He goes out there every time with conviction and just nails it. It's funny because he's got that nervous look in the beginning and he just starts feeling it, getting into it. And he, you can really tell that Otto, you know, himself loosens up with every performance. Uh, the staging is gorgeous and it's dynamic. And I think it's going to win a lot of people over. My one big fear, of course, is the jury. I don't know that the jury is going to buy-in, and I don't know how it's going to do with the jury. But, again, I think this song is going to make a statement, and regardless of whether it qualifies or not, we have an awesome song here we can listen to at any time. And uh, I wish you all the best, Georgia. You're in my top ten in the semifinal. Next, we have Australia. Kate miller Heidke, Zero Gravity. Again, I loved the song from the beginning when I first heard it. I thought it was lovely. I also thought it was a little odd when I first heard it, of course. I was like, wow, what is this? And then I listened to it more, listened to it more, and I'm like, her voice is so beautiful. It's captivating. And then hearing this acoustic version of this the other day changed it again and brought it up a couple spots. I've always had this in my top ten to qualify because uh, I've always liked this song and always been a fan. But the acoustic version... And then the staging for this both really helped it even more. And I feel like this is a serious contender this year. What she does on a moving pole, you know, it's kind of the same thing I said with Sara Alta from uh, Finland last year. She's on this, you know, rotating platform. It's very impressive to see how she can sing and keep the tone. Well, swaying on a pole like that, for one, I'd be freaked out. One of my big fears in life is heights. Uh, so that would scare me, but the fact that she can sing in tune and doesn't even miss a beat doing that, my whole thing was as long as she's comfortable with that, fantastic. You know, if it doesn't change her voice or tone as she's doing that, and she seems to like it and, you know, be unaffected on stage because she still sounds flawless. Uh, she was my winner of the Netherlands Eurovision in Concert show. I thought she did the, had the best performance of the night there. And uh, she continues to impress people. I've seen a lot of people change their opinions on this song. And uh, it's been nice to see that she's finally starting to get the credit she deserves for being a true vocalist and one of the best female vocalists of the year. So next we have Estonia. I know, I haven't really talked about this song as much. I liked it initially, and then I kind of forgot about it a little bit. But it, 
rages back like a storm into my mind. Uh, you know, just for having a fun show, I think having this out there in the finals would be fantastic. It's a song that's easy to remember. You can remember the chorus. You sing along. This was one of my favorite songs from the London pre-party. I thought he performed exceptionally well in London and really, really won that crowd over. So, uh, yeah, I'm very interested in seeing Victor Krohn and Storm and Estonia advance into the finals and seeing what kind of show we can put on. This changes the pace. You know, you have a lot of slower ballads and then you have something like this come on and it just it's got a, you know, country feel a little bit and country rock I'd call it a lot of people were telling me oh it's country it's country I'm like I listen to country this isn't quite country it might be European country it's not you know our country the 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 what the country genre it's more rock than that but or country pop even but it's still fantastic and I love the elements of it it's just uh a nice song to listen to it it always puts a smile on my face so Estonia I hope you qualify and then number nine, I've got Poland with Tulia, Fire of Love, Palise. I love this song. It's been growing on me ever since. This is my biggest grower of the entire competition. Uh, I would say Poland and Croatia are my two biggest growers of the entire Eurovision season. Every time I hear this, I love it even more. And I love their staging. I love what they're able to do where they're on that little turntable, but then they've got the images of themselves. So they can still sit there stoic, performing like they need to be. And then you can see a little of their personality uh, above a head. I think it's a very nice and unique show. And I would love to see this advance to the finals. I'm a huge fan of Poland this year. And uh, I really hope that Poland can make it and get enough voter support to push them through to the finals. Juries, I think they could respect this, but we'll, we'll have to see. I think a lot of it will depend on televotes. So I hope Poland, we see you in the finals. I really do. And last but not least, Serbia. Now, I made you all wait for a while, Serbia, but I have some good news. Serbia, you are my favorite song in the entire semifinal one. This is my undoubtedly favorite song of all of semifinal one. Novina Bojovic with Kruna. Fantastic song. Fantastic different alterations of the song. I love the revamp. I love the acoustic. I love the orchestral version. Nevena is one of the best singers of the entire year, and uh, she's my favorite female vocalist. I'm just in love with this, and I had the song at number four. It might have even jumped up to number three today, and it might still climb. One reason I haven't put out my top 41 is because I'm still not decided. I'm so indecisive when it comes to things like that. But Serbia, Kruno, beautiful song. She's such a wonderful musician and artist, vocalist, I should say. Not musician, but vocalist. <laughs> I haven't seen her play, but her, her voice is fantastic. Uh, I love Nivena so much through this, and I can't wait to see what she has in store in the future for some of her other music. But honestly, it's a gem to listen to, this song, and uh, Karuna is one of my favorite songs of the entire Eurovision season. Absolutely. And I can't wait to see how Serbia does. It's got to go to the finals. It's my favorite song of semifinal one, and I'll leave it at that. So... Here we have, I have my 10 that I want. I have Poland, Slovenia, Hungary, Serbia, Georgia, Australia, Estonia, Portugal, Greece, and San Marino. That's my 10. That's my personal list. So now I'll go through and talk about the others and let you know if I want them in the finals or not. So Cyprus. Yeah, sure. I'd take them in the finals. It's probably my number 11 song here. I'm not in love with it, and I don't dislike it at all. I give it an 8 out of 10, and I stand by that. You know, it's a song that I like okay. I'm sure it's going to the finals. Uh, you know, it's going to knock out one of my other 10, I'm sure. <laughs> There's no way that Cyprus is not going to the finals, and this might be your winner of semifinal one. But it doesn't speak to me like all the other songs, so... It's it's okay. I'm I'm not a huge fan, but I don't dislike it at all, and I don't wish it any bad luck. Uh, Montenegro, I'm fine with this staying in the finals, or sorry, I'm fine with this staying in the semifinals. Yeah, it's 
I like it better since the revamp. I don't dislike it in any way, but I'm also not really intrigued by it, and the staging's really bland. Eh, I'm just, I'm okay with uh, Montenegro staying in the in the semifinal. Finland, same thing. I'm okay with it staying in the semifinal. I'm not a huge fan of the song. I like Superman a lot better. Um, that's not why I'm judging this independently, but Look Away has way too much going on on the stage, and I'm just not feeling it overall. So I think Sing It Once is fine, and then uh, another song that I like better hopefully goes on to the finals. Czech Republic, Lake Malawi. Now, this is an interesting one. This is a song I've liked since the beginning, but there are just 10 songs I like better, unfortunately. Uh, they give a very crazy good performance, and I really feel good about their chances to qualify. So I don't want to hold them back or say I don't want to see them. I definitely would love to see them in the finals, but, you know, there's just 10 songs that I relate to more. Belarus, Zena with Like It. I'm fine with the staying in the semifinal. It's an interesting song. The staging looks kind of looks pretty nice, but I'm okay with it not qualifying. It's, uh, you know, she's a very good performer. Hopefully she can come back in a couple years with a more mature song and tear your vision apart. I think she's a very good performer. She sounds good live and she has her identity. She knows who she is. And that's rare at such a young age. But if she qualifies, I won't be surprised. But I'm fine also with it not qualifying. <laughs> so then we have Belgium, Elliot, Wake Up. Another song. I was disappointed by the staging immensely. Uh, the song has just kind of been dropping like a rock for me. Um, I'm fine with this staying in the semifinal and not advancing. <laughs> so last but not least, Iceland, Hatari, Hatri Munsigra. Now, I'm entertained by them. And I want this to qualify. So I would say that, you know, they're probably 12th or 13th on my list that I'm happy if they could qualify. I'll be happy for them. I know they will. They are going to qualify. So it's not a matter of if for me. They're going to qualify. I just, it's not my favorite type of music. That's all it comes down to. There are other songs that I like better. And, uh, but Iceland is going to qualify and, they have what looks to be a very fun show. So I'm excited to see them and I'm completely fine with them advancing and uh, we sing what they bring to the finals. So that was my 10 songs that I want to qualify to reiterate Poland, Slovenia, Hungary, Serbia, Georgia, Australia, Estonia, Portugal, Greece, and San Marino. That's my opinion. I would love to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Let me know who you want to qualify. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have to see. We're a week away and that's crazy to say. So look for my video. My next video is going to be on uh, songs that I predict to qualify from semifinal one. And I'll also make semifinal two my choices versus the uh, predictions. So look for that out soon. For now, Lethargic Sloth out.